Well, hi there. Now that the Hotpoint 3680 Electronic Deluxe is uh, back in one piece, I thought it would be really interesting to see if we can do some dry cleaning with it. I actually put this dry cleaning mode to some use. And in order to do that, I think we'll try and deodorize the carpet with some bicarb bicarbonate of soda. So yeah, this could be quite interesting. <laughs> Yeah, it took quite a, a bit of effort to sort of get this back into a reasonable shape. The machine works fine now, uh, even though it doesn't have its um, ceramic pulley, which is a shame. Uh, it's it's all right. It does still work. It drives the brush roll around fine. The brush roll is probably a bit slower than it should be. However, it does work, so that's great. You do occasionally get a little bit of belt squeak where the belt is just drifting into the body slightly, and it's just it's starting to rub. Um, on full power you can't really hear it, but in lower power modes you can definitely hear it. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see, we'll see that happening later. Yeah, I thought it would be really good to give the dry cleaning mode a go. I doubt if many people have seen these machines being used to do dry cleaning. Um, now I did look online to see if I could find some uh, dry cleaning powder like Dyson Zorb would be ideal for this task. However, Dyson Zorb seems to have got quite expensive now, and um, I did have a look for other products that you can dry clean carpets with. They're not very plentiful, so I came up with the idea of using bicarb. Now, this, is, this stuff is great. It absorbs odours uh, and smells and all that stuff. And um, from the minimal research I've done, basically Dyson Zorb is bicarb, but with a scent in it. So yeah, this will do pretty much the same stuff, or should get pretty much the same results as using Dyson Zorb, but for a fraction of the price. But we'll see if it works. You know, if it doesn't work, we've lost four pounds. I think this box was four pounds. Um, the Dyson Zorb was uh, a lot more than four pounds, and I wasn't prepared to pay that. That's just that's just silly. So what we need to do is get the hot point set up actually vacuum the carpet with it first, then sprinkle this stuff down, put it into dry clean mode, massage it in, wait, uh, I think it says about an hour on the box, leave it down for an hour, and then vacuum it back up. I think what will also be really interesting is once we've done it with the hot point, we will, in a different video, we'll find something else. I think I might try one of the Kirby's with like a, a black filter on the exhaust just to see how much of this stuff the hot point missed. I think that could be quite interesting. Kirby's are renowned for pulling up much much more rubbish out of the carpet than a normal normal vacuum cleaner can. So uh, yeah I think that's enough waffling. Let's get the carpet vacuumed first and then uh, yeah we'll give this a go. Right, the hot point is set up and ready to go. So we'll put it into maximum power, uh, make sure it's in vacuum mode. I've got the height control set to the minimum um, and we'll just give this carpet a quick vacuum. And yeah, let's do it.
there we go so that's the vacuuming done um, it, the machine seems to work quite well actually it, I'm quite surprised even with that missing pulley it uh, yeah it does function pretty good so yeah that's brilliant um, so now we need to sprinkle down the bicarb um, so let's do that okay let's sprinkle this bicarb down I don't really know how much to use of it oh god it's got quite big lumps in it but that's all right the hot point should be able to sort that out for us so just want to give it a rough sprinkle obviously we'll do the whole carpet let's move you back a bit so we can continue sprinkling oh there are a few great big lumps in there be interested to see what the hot point does with those. Right, let's do the last few bits. There we go. Getting a nice covering. Have I missed anywhere? Probably. But that should be all right because the hot point will spread it out. So it's probably about half a box used there. Um, so now that we've got everything sprinkled down, we need to put the hot point into dry clean mode. And in order to do that, there's two very important things we must do. The first thing is to turn this dial to dry clean. And the second thing is, if we come up here to the panel, you'll notice that there's a little symbol here next to minimum. So that's telling you that you need to have it on minimum power. So we'll slide it down to minimum. You'll see there that that little, that little star symbol matches up with the little star symbol on dry clean. So now that we've got that set up, we can use it to work the bicarb into the carpet. And hopefully it'll do a good job. So let's find out. Okay, are you ready for this? Let's see how it goes. Let's see how we get on. Let's turn the machine on. There's a low power. Hopefully you can see the brush roll turning. Hopefully you can see it. Yes, you can. It's spinning quite slowly. So that should work by car in. Let's give it a go.
has definitely, definitely worked it in. Um, there are a few little clumps, but uh, oh yeah, I don't know if you can see there, but uh, there's a bit of a uh, bit of bicarb kind of stuck in here. Oh yeah, look, you can see it in there. Hopefully, you can. Oh, I tilt it back. There you go. So yeah, it's not super efficient, um, and indeed, look, if you look at the suction channel, you can see that the bicarb has kind of got stuck there as well. But it looks like it's worked. I'll just tip it out, look. There we go, tip it out. So, now, I need to leave this for one hour and then come back and we will vacuum it up with the hot point. Well, approximately one hour has passed, so it is time to pick up the bicarb that we've got in the carpet. So, what we need to do is put the hot point into maximum power and then turn our dry clean knob to vacuum, like so. And now we should be able to suck it all up. So let's give it a go, shall we? Let's see what happens. we go I think it's done quite a good job um, what we'll do is if you just come around we'll just have a look at the tool port um, and see how much suction slash airflow is left so let's check, check that out a, a second so here's the tool port on the hot point so let's just take this out and just um, swivel it round I think it's that way isn't it yeah there we go clip it in let's turn the machine on <laughs> There's still quite a lot of suction and airflow there, actually. I thought the bicarb would have blocked the bag up uh, quite severely, but no, it doesn't seem to have. So that's really good. I don't know what we'll be able to see by looking at the dust bag, but uh, let's just get it out a second and have a think. Oh, yeah, yeah, God, look. That's all bicarb in there. That's quite impressive. Yeah, God, it's got a lot of it up, guys. Look at all that there. That's all bicarb. Amazing. Um, there is some, oh, you can see where it's leaking, actually. Look, if you look here, this is all bicarb powder that's leaked out. So I dread to think what's in the atmosphere. Um, I'm, I'm not a massive fan of this bag throat. I have to say, this is not 
a particularly good uh, design choice because of the way it sort of interfaces with the back body. It's, it leaves quite a gap, so you get quite a lot of dust and fluff leak. Look, you can see there. Um, if I can pull it out, look, there. Yeah, it's just, it's a feather that's just come out the side because it's not particularly sealed very well. I think if you maybe if you put some mastic on there and sort of put it back on, it would be better. But uh, yeah, straight out of the box, it's not ideal. Um, I don't know why I'm putting this bag back in. It's pretty much scrap that bag now. But yeah, it's done quite a good job. I am, I am surprised. I will say, I thought, I didn't think, uh, there's a piece of the bag gone. Check that over there. Um, I didn't think it would do such a good job as that, I must say. And the carpet does look better. Um, I know that's really silly, because you think to yourself, how can you tell? But actually, yeah, it does look better. It's kind of like the, the, the bicarb has made a difference to it. So that's really good. But I think the biggest test will be actually what we do next. And what we do next will be to get a Kirby down here and we'll run a, the Kirby over this rug. Um, I think it's probably gonna be the Ultimate G, not the Sentry or two, and that's not quite ready yet. Um, and it's easy to get uh, a sort of paper dust bag onto the Ultimate G. So yeah, that'll be next. Um, next in this series of videos, it might not be the next video, but yeah, we will see it shortly. Um, but yeah, overall, really glad, really glad, really pleased with the way the hot point has turned out. It does a great job. It sounds, it sounds good. Um, yeah, really happy with it. So there we go. Uh, I'll see you in the next video uh, in this room. We'll probably have the Kirby out and uh, yeah. See what happens next. So, you guys take care. Don't forget to uh, comment, subscribe, and like. Have you ever done this? Have you ever put bicarb down on your carpets just to see what will happen? Um, you yeah, know, just to try it out. Uh, or is it just me? Am I just mad? Um, probably me just, just being mad. But yeah, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, I would appreciate it massively. And there goes the cat. So, from me and the cat, you guys take care, and we will see you soon. Bye.